Hey everyone, right, I'm going to jump straight into it. Uh, no editing or nothing. We've seen all of the, we've seen these for sale all over the place, so I picked one up. This one here is the uh, the Hero 4. It's only just come out in the last month or two. Uh, the added benefit from the newer version is that it's got uh, a screen on the back, which the other one didn't, so this one's a whole lot better. Uh, we'll have a look at this. I'm gonna um, do a quick look at the camera on my on my Apple camera, and then we're gonna see how it runs uh, to check out all of the uh, paperwork and the wires and brackets, the whole lot you've got in here. I've fully charged it already, so uh, we'll crack it open. This is what it looks like. Diddly did, diddly did. Look, there's the screen, and uh, I'm going to take uh, screenshots of all of these and various other things to put in the video as well at the end of it. So, it's amazingly small. I'll give it that. I weren't expecting it to be as small as this. Right, so here it is itself. Uh, this is uh, you get uh, three different back covers with it. You get one for uh, normal everyday use that lets the sound in. Um, one for medium use, like uh, on your motorbikes and things like that. And you've also got another screen for um, the waterproof one down to 40 meters. Uh, that do, I don't think it lets a lot of uh, sound in because it's actually like fully waterproof as such. So uh, on the top here you've got a, a, a bracket which everything is really tight. You see, takes a lot. But there you go, you open that up and uh, the back of it opens up. And look how small that is. Look. There you go, on my hand, small as anything. So we'll have a look at this, and then we're going to swap it over and try and use this uh, to make my videos on. That's what I'm going to try and do. So on the front, you've got uh, the power button and um, an LCD screen. See if we can power it up for you. There you go. Right, so on there we've got a um, little screen with various, uh, to, to show you all of the settings. Um, on the side here, I don't know if you can see it because the, the camera on my Apple Mac, iMac is uh, crap at the moment. Uh, on the side here you've got another button for um, uh, to adjust the settings. And on the top right there, the red button is your... Um, to take the photos with, that's what that's for. Good bit of kit from what I can see. Also we've got a, a door here that we can open up and you've got um, your charge point with the USB, that's how I'm going to be running, um, putting my videos onto YouTube and things like that, That's uh, that will go straight to the USB stick into the back of my uh, iMac. Uh, the other one haven't quite worked out what that one is yet. <laughs> so, uh, also got uh, the micro sim here. That's the other thing. I haven't got it here to show you, but I've got a deal on the micro sim and a larger one that goes uh, into the back of the computer. My missus knows something about it. I don't really know about it. So there you go. That's the camera. Put that on there. Right, so on the case, all of the buttons are fully waterproof. Uh, push buttons, everything like that. From what I know, you can actually change these lenses to uh, for bigger ones to take uh, photos and videos further away. You know, like motorbike when you're watching motorbike racing and things like that. So there you go. I'm gonna. Uh, have a swap over and uh, have a look, see how this um, GoPro 
Hero 4 works out for YouTube. Okay. All right, so there you go. Uh, let's crack open this box and see what we've got for you. Right, in here there's loads of goodies, wires, uh, everything like that. It's all nicely boxed as well. I did like that when I opened it first time up. First up, user manual, which is good. Uh, it's quite well explained in here. I've just noticed um, it's got 80 pages of information, all kinds of stuff from brackets, uh, how you use the camera, different buttons. Um, See that page? All of the different settings you can have. Loads of them. Wide screen, 1080p, frames per second. Loads of stuff there is on there. So that's that. A lot of that's also um, foreign, but I normally get a pair of scissors and cut that bit off. All right, here we've got um, a bracket. This one you've got, um, so for instance, you've got backwards and forwards and left and right as well on this one. These are all free, it comes with it, so uh, they're all worth doing. I uh, don't know really what that one is, but funky. Uh, some more instructions. Uh, quick start, uh, warranty safety information a lot I'm gonna swallow the camera or something uh, another quick start loads of pages there free stickers as well like we all want stickers right there's one of the screens I'll show you that in a minute sticky adhesive things now I've read up already in the instructions that if you stick these 24 hours before you want to use them if you stick them on 24 hours before you want to use them um, they're so sticky that the only way to get them off is to use an iron or uh, you know like um, uh, a heater uh, something like that put them on a radiator or something like that and that's the only way to get them off they really are sticky Right, here's the other screen. Let's crack this open and you'll see what they're all about. Right, so here's the waterproof one. It's totally, you can't do nothing with it. It's solid and there's no room for the air, for the uh, sound to get through either. That's, uh, uh, I think the sound would be, um, not as good as what it would it be in perfect day when you're underwater or in the bath. Right, this one's your normal everyday one, probably on motorbikes, go karts, and things like that. Let's see what this uh, plastic's all about. Right, so it's got a protective cover on each side. Okay, so it's got foam around this one. So this is your normal, you know, motorbike in and out, I just said. Anyway, so um, it will let some sound in, but not a lot. It's only got one hole in there. And the one I'm using right now is totally, it hasn't got no plastic or nothing. So you can use all of the touch screen as well. I think you can use the touch screen on this one as well hmm yeah it's got touch screen uh, screen on the back as well that's one good thing so I've got I've got some ideas of how to use it I'm gonna be going go-karting soon and uh, gonna get out on the pit bikes as well and I've got holiday book for next year that's one of the reasons why I bought it was to uh, take to Egypt with me next year and uh, to get out on the pit bikes 
and I'm also going to be testing it to use as my main YouTube camera as well to do commentary and things like that. So there you go. Um, any questions just send them on the feedback and I'll let you know because I'm well happy that I bought it and I'm going to make the most of it. Okay.